A very good evening and welcome to ICFI's Wise Views Leadership Conversations, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a very distinguished young leader, Mr. Uday Srinivas. He is the founder and CEO of Tea Time. He is going to talk about his journey and also answer many questions about how to streamline an entrepreneurial venture, especially in an unorganized sector, and highly competitive at that. Ladies and gentlemen, what I will do now is I will request the organizer to allow, uh, allow me to share my screen so that I will introduce the guest. And after that, we will have the Q&A straight away. I understand that today is uh, New Year's <laughs> Eve and uh, our uh, leadership conversations actually are uninterrupted, not on holidays, not on festivals, not, not even on New Year's Eve, we stop. There is no stopping of learning. Therefore, we continue. And I hope in the next year as well, we will continue to have uninterrupted sessions every Friday at 7.30 PM. So let me now introduce uh, Mr. Uday. Yeah, these leadership conversations we have been having, uh, this is the 37th uh, conversation. As I mentioned earlier, over the last uh, seven months, uh, we have been hosting these conversations with highly distinguished leaders from all walks of life. So today we have uh, Mr. Uday Srinivas. Uh, he has uh, put together a great uh, chain of uh, tea stores across the country, and we will get into more interesting details in the next few slides. Uh, he's going to talk about formalizing entrepreneurship over a cup of tea, that is the theme. And uh, the first 15 minutes or so will be opening remarks to be delivered by the guest, uh, Mr. Uday, followed by question and answers. We will spend more time interacting with uh, the audience in terms of the questions that they have posed at the time of registration so that almost all the questions are addressed. Uh, this is a young, uh, dynamic and handsome uh, founder, uh, MD of Tea Time with us. Mr. Uday Srinivas Tangela is a, as an engineering graduate by education and uh, by profession, he's an entrepreneur. Mr. Uday Srinivas is adept at ever-changing business environment and has founded two companies so far with diverse peers of influence in technology and retail. Mr. Uday took up a near impossible challenge of providing premium quality product to consumers at a lower price, which has never been achieved in the retail industry, not just in India, not even around the world. We, we are waiting to see what he has done. The birth of Tea Time, which is the brand name of this organization, was a groundbreaking achievement, which provides premium quality beverages at an affordable price to consumers without cutting any corners. Trust me, I tasted tea at many outlets of tea time and it is wonderful. He was magnanimous enough to share his success with other individuals. He shares knowledge with other budding entrepreneurs as well, whenever there's an opportunity. That's a very good thing. Uh, tea time has created uh, more than 2,500 entrepreneurs franchisee network and 1,000 women entrepreneurs uh, network. That's pretty large by any standard. Uh, Mr. Uday's vision is to empower the common population and determine, and determine to bridge the gap that existed in the accessibility of a premium quality product, which has led to the formation of India's largest tea chain. His vision resulted in creating employment to 10,000 individuals and indirect employment to over 25,000 people and vendors. That is a pretty impressive profile of a very young entrepreneur and we are extremely proud, uh, uh, Mr. Srinivas, uh, today to have you with us. And uh, before I welcome uh, Mr. Uday to start his talk, I must mention that we are talking to someone who has created India's largest uh, tea cafe chain. And probably it is the world's largest tea cafe chain, but we are staring at uh, figures like 24,000 retail outlets by Starbucks, but that's predominantly coffee-led. In China, we have Luckin Coffee, which is also having a large number of outlets, but less than Starbucks. But if you take tea as a prime mover and tea-oriented products, I think it is tea time, which wins down um, handsomely and not just in India, but also around the world. But in, in a short span of about three to four years, I think Mr. Uday has achieved this. Let us all uh, join hands to welcome him and listen to 
uh, Mr. Uday Srinivas' journey. Uh, his, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the chronicles of uh, tea time and the industry uh, tea time belongs to. Over to you, Mr. Uday, and thank you very much for agreeing to spend your time with us on New Year's Eve. Thank you. Uh, good evening and uh, a warm welcome to our moderators, Prasad Garu and Sudhakar Rao Garu. And uh, very kind, uh, so kind and nice to hear such a great words about me. Means I feel very great by your words and it is very touching. And uh, apart from this, and I thanking you all the team of ICFI who is sharing the same space with me in this privileged meeting. And uh, all the guests who are who have joined this meeting in the most uh, precious time to celebrate the next coming new year. So uh, as I said, told, Sudhaka said, told, there is no stop for learning in any point of time, in any season, any festival or anywhere. So, okay, and sir introduced me more than I deserved actually. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, so let's begin my journey. So I was just, uh, uh, a normal graduate like any other one and uh, I don't know uh, what I gonna do after my graduation or anything like so many other uh, undergraduates doing their graduates means okay let I'm doing this and later on what I will do then I started the sir told me because there is a very small gap for uh, graduating and getting into the business means whether we are, we are going to work or we will start our own business or simply uh, sitting idle and doing something. So I passed all these three stages. I graduated, then I was sitting idle and then I went to into a tech line like any other and graduate. Then in between, when I was in abroad, a uh, thought came to my mind that um, there are so much of uh, branded stores in the country. Means, and the branded stores means quality drinks serving to everyone. Almost uh, all the people are uh, affordable to have that uh, cup of drink or anything. So then when I come back to India, means which is, means what are the brands any brands means uh, multinational brands or bigger brands for a good quality and uh, branded coffee shop or a chain of restaurants are limited to only cities. Means where else in uh, abroad? If you, as I saw mentioned, Starbucks, I means the whole country knows about the Starbucks. If you take McD, the whole country knows about the McD and uh, some other cafe in China, the whole country knows about it. In India, what is the brand which is known for the entire nation? where any Indian can go and have a drink with trust, uh, with, uh, means with a trust that where I can get a minimum quality. Then anywhere you go in India, when we started, any, anywhere you go in India, if you want to have some good tea, first thing what we will do is that we will go to the town and ask, where can I have a good tea? Where can I have a good tea? Or where can I have a lunch? Or where can I have a breakfast? Means there is, uh, with a country population of more than 130 or 140 crores, means we don't even have a single brand which is recognized and known to the entire country. Means India deserves such kind of uh, brands, retails, serving, means where every Indian must know and trustly, means with confidence they can walk over it without um, checking the quality or asking anyone. So then when I come back to India, I started this tea time as a small cafe. Means uh, uh, there's so many people, I mean, so many brands in the world will serve the coffee. Means uh, the coffee, most of our Indians uh, doesn't drink the cappuccinos and we are not adopted to such kind of drinks. So I thought of what to start and how to start. Then I thought of most of the Indians drink tea. That's why I choose tea. And to serve means whom I want to serve, means I want to serve the entire nation. Entire nation means whom they are filled with. They are filled with common men, not only India, world is filled with common men. Means what is the average affordable price for the tea for the entire nation? Uh, okay, I did, uh, entire nation affordability price is maybe 10, but can we bring that tea below 10 rupees and make profit with that one? Then I myself amazed and shock to see the numbers means by acquiring 
the best available tea leaves means processed tea leaves with the uh, available best milk and uh, available best water and sugar maybe we will add sugar or sugarless maybe so these are the only things which is required to prepare a tea so after uh, getting all the things best in the market to prepare a cup of tea which is less than 10 rupees means i'm making a profit of more than 100 percentage means i was shocked to see means to give that at 10 rupees what are the things i have to follow i have, means i have to what are the things i have to follow means uh, cut down the real estate rentals then the unnecessary fancy interiors and how with the basic hygiene which country deserves means our country deserves i felt this by bottom of my heart our country deserves better cup of tea then i started like uh, minimizing the manpower then i started a, in a small town where which is immediately known to everyone means which will be fast spreading means there is no brand there is no cafe there is no uh, brand known for a common man then i started the town called rajamandri then i started the tea time there and uh, on the first day itself i got uh, means it's a, the most funny thing is that uh, there was an opening uh, in few days and uh, i don't even have a logo so then i went to an internet shop and i designed it logo by paying 300 rupees 300 bucks for the tea time logo which is known uh, most of the people means uh, many people in the country so i started with that like that and i started serving the tea by um, before that i had a small homework of uh, uh, making it into a regularized uh, a by formula making tea means uh, no need of uh, proper chef uh, thing anybody who any worker can make a tea by using that formula i like to streamline the process of making tea then i started serving the tea in a small town and which is uh, means i got a very huge response from the public then it became very famous within a weeks then i started uh, serving more 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 and i got a potential at a place that i am uh, from morning to evening even after i am serving the sale is limited after two three months then uh, i started uh, two more two three more branches then i came to know that uh, operating this uh, so many people uh, because i am i am in i am an individual with uh, no organization behind me i am an individual just then i came to know that it is it's becoming becoming tougher for me to operate more stores on my own then thought of uh, spreading across but india needs better cup of tea is the only vision i have so if i am not able to do then how i have to do it then i started thinking of franchising then i started giving the franchising as soon as i announced the franchising people started coming and taking the franchises at that time also we have only four five employees uh, by that time because with for four five uh, stores running on my own i created four five employees on my own for the back end for the operations then i started giving the franchises and uh, you uh, you can't believe it till 100 franchises i don't even have an office where i started sitting in my car and started giving the 100 franchises in my car itself and myself was sitting in the selecting of the outlets and uh, uh, visiting on my own and uh, the franchise system also not at uh, means properly designed it well then after making it 100 learning by myself step by step means okay streamline the process of sales streamline the process of operations means which i need an office then i decided all these things and i started an office and appointed a few sales people few operation people few purchase people and streamlined the entire process after 100 outlets i streamlined the sales purchase operations and uh, started giving the franchises means it's growing keep on growing keep on growing keep on growing means i felt the vacuum in the means how much vacuum is there for the 3 lakh crore market of tea means there is not even a single brand which is selling tea in a proper hygiene quality way for a common man 
means then I came to know how much vacuum it is. Now I want to spread it where uh, means to the entire nation means I have to come to Hyderabad. Then I came to Hyderabad and started an office here. Then till then, there is no, no stopping anywhere. Till now, our, our company has reached more than 2,500 to 2,800 franchises in between. And uh, there are so many achievements we made in this journey, like 107 shops opening in a single day, which I don't think so. No brand can achieve this one. And uh, vision is becoming bigger, 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 bigger. Means how to achieve all these things. Then I started with the next state. People came to me and uh, the I spread it in interstates also, like I moved out to Tamil Nadu, I moved to Kerala, I moved to Karnataka. Now like that, which is presented, uh, which is present in 14 states in the entire nation. And still every day we receive N number of calls to open and we have an offices and uh, means for the supply chain, how to streamline the supply chain. Then I started giving the master franchisee, which is responsible for the entire district there, who will take care of the supply chain. Means when a unit franchisee is given, they must not suffer because of the supply chain. So anywhere in India, any tea time, now if they ordered the stock, it will reach them within a 24 hours of time, like any other multinational uh, companies, uh, FMCG product supply chain, wherever the TTAM is present, our supply chain became so stronger with own interest and investing their own money, it became so strong. Why the quality of the TTAM is always good because it is franchisee owned and franchisee operated. The ownership uh, will bring the more quality, means uh, more responsibility, more deliverables like that. So when it is becoming uh, unstoppable, means uh, really it is becoming unstoppable and we are spreading across so many states and uh, because of the pandemic we are stopped, otherwise it might, uh, it might have started in abroad also. So all these things are about is the present situation of the TTAM. So now what is the next vision of the TTAM? Next vision of the TTAM is that uh, with my knowledge and with my effort, it is at this level. Now, later on, I came to know uh, there is a where I need a catalyst, means introducing a brand strategist. How, how, why, how it will make a difference? Introducing a brand strategist let to make the brand feel, uh, means to uh, present the brand globally and uh, organized operations in a more way. Then I started introducing the ERP, uh, then CRM, customer relationship management and uh, lead management. And uh, I'm streamlining it digitally, means where my uh, franchisee owners now started operating digitally, means uh, a common man who is uh, sitting in somewhere village near Kanyakumari or somewhere near in Maharashtra is doing the business with the mobile, which is owned by him and uh, making their livelihood. In this process, uh, as I saw told with the numbers it created, uh, I'm very proud, uh, proud to create such uh, so many em uh, employees. And all this started with serving a quality cup of tea means if a cup of tea can do this many jobs, just imagine there are so many products in India which they deserve better. Means actually the tea market is not at all, it's a formalized, means uh, it is on a roadside or just in a restaurant, that's it. Means there is no proper shop for the serving of tea. Then as soon as I started this one, the people who came uh, after that, who wants to serve the tea? If you they want to open the tea store, I it, it became a revolutionary thing of serving the tea. Means they if they want to serve the tea, sell the tea, they have to come up with a basic hygiene level, uh, basic appearance, and the basic quality tasted. Then only the people are moving it. It becomes a revolutionary step and a pride moment for the tea time that. Uh, all this type of uh, the unhygiene shops are getting 
away uh, going away and the hygiene platform making way for the hygiene platform and to make all these things i didn't increase the cost of the tea means which can be served at the same price with a better quality so india needs uh, this better mind this formalization in so many departments not only in uh, fmcg are you take any any department or any uh, product you need that formalization means if you are streamlining any product with a quality and reasonable price the world will accept that one along with that the quality reasonable price uh, and you need a better story to tell to the people about your product means that is always important to an entrepreneur means we i didn't create the tea i told the tea story in this way by present by giving a name by giving the quality and uh, by giving it in a reasonable price so always we have to uh, tell you a story in a very good way so that the people will always welcome you for any good product and uh, what will you achieve through this we always have to invest in design thinking what will you achieve through this design thinking design thinking means to create a brand uh, where to place your product to whom you are placing and uh, what will you achieve that one means we usually indians will limit ourselves to a village or a, to the town to the state not to the country anyone means we have to open we have to open up our eyes and this is my country i am not limited to any part of a village district or state you have to be openly open to the entire country create a strategy for whatever the product you want to come up with means i'm Uh, finishing all these things because i have a limited time of 15 minutes actually uh, so i'm clubbing only important uh, points and um, create a strategy for that one whom you want to focus uh, who, who are your targeted audience and how to deliver your product then and uh, why they have to buy your product it is very important to make a note of all these things before we start our uh, business and uh, till uh, till the time our uh, experience or our business will help but after that we you need to have so many organized educated people uh, to be be with you to run for the bigger story actually and uh, the strategy the design thinking what i'm speaking of the thing is that design thinking always returns you in a uh, what i say is that uh, it brings you money indirectly it won't be visible in the beginning it will come in later on like example is that uh, tata is a brand tesla is also a brand tesla became the global brand and tata not became means tata motors is not uh, a pride uh, vehicle to be owned why because they invested in design thinking design thinking means they invested in a strategy where to place your brand how to reach your brand and how to make it pride of your own brand like that means you have to place your brand to whom you want to place it and uh, sir am i confusing everything or not it's absolutely fine please go ahead yes sir because i have very retail, uh, very limited time for that one so yes. you have to uh, because we can formalize in any sector we want like we can for, uh, formalize in uh, the snacks what we are serving the biscuits you can formalize the samosa you can formalize with the bigger vision of your uh, uh, big, we have to have a bigger vision and a proper plan you can execute and uh, deliver it to so many people uh, with because the world is filled with common man when you are giving for something with a reasonable price with a better quality they will accept it okay i i yes. think uh, yeah i think what we'll do now is uh, we will have to at the outset appreciate the kind of passion you have brought to this job it is phenomenal it is unparalleled according to me an engineering graduate uh, who uh, like any other has tried his tech journey gone to us 
come back with one single line passion that India needs to have uh, quality products, hygiene products, and especially you focused on tea. And that's where your journey has begun in a small place called Rajamandri. And everything you have picked up, it is called learning on the job. I think learning on the job is done by people who work in various organizations, but entrepreneurs have a clear idea of doing it. But you are such an entrepreneur who's displayed the passion of evolving your strategies on a daily basis. I think that is quite phenomenal to me at the outset, and I must appreciate that you have created so much of employment, so many entrepreneurs, men and women, and such a large chain in such a small, uh, such short span of time uh, from the time you have uh, started. So today, the entire country is looking at you and your success. And probably, I want to tell all the viewers and all the members who have joined today that Tea Time does not have too much of media coverage. I have not seen many. Whatever accomplishments they've made, whatever journey they've made, matter of factly, they mention it on their uh, on their own media like website and social media handles and uh, everything has organically to a large extent has multiplied its visibility and uh, there are i'm sure many more people every day calling up for uh, franchising agreements and requirements and queries i'm sure that is the biggest satisfaction any any business can give to uh, to an entrepreneur having said that the most important takeaway in your introductory remark is that how can we give quality product at an affordable price? And you have therefore re-engineered the whole costing very, very transparently and honestly. I think that makes you a very good patriot in this country. Not many business folks think about honestly looking at the re-engineering of the cost. You looked at the milk, you looked at the tea leaves, you looked at sourcing, and then you broke down the entire cost and the profit margin that's available. And you said that it is still possible to give at 10 rupees per cup, competing with the tapriwala, the roadside vendor, and yet give that hygienic, respectful, quality-oriented product at that price. I think that is an amazing success story, but it all began with your thinking that you love this country and therefore you wanted your country folks to have a quality product. You would have seen these kind of chains across the world and, and especially in the US, but you have come back to work on these things with a single-minded focus. I think the biggest advantage to you is that uh, there is no baggage and therefore you thought very openly and freely and you began at a unit level and then it slowly got multiplied. And as you mentioned in your story, till you reached 100 franchisees or 100 stores, you didn't have your own office. That's a great way to believe in oneself and still build a very big brand like this. Not many media folks have talked about Tea Time, but Tea Time is already popular. That is another intriguing factor for me. How did you achieve? We will answer, we will handle that in the Q&A section. But as you move from 100 to 1000 and 2000 to 2500 today, I think systems have been brought in, strategies have been applied, people have been added, and um, obviously, these kind of operations require management by technology, management by vision, and more people will have to join the game. And that's what has exactly happened. Uh, not limiting your vision to a particular village or a town or a city or a district uh, or a state, but you need to have a nationwide strategy is another mantra that which you have followed in your growth phase that is very, very interesting. And design thinking is the way out to actually uh, uh, reach out to your TGs and make your brand more visible and make people come back to you again and again. And formalization can be done, not just in tea or an organized sector, but formalization is possible across all the other products as well. If the entrepreneur is honest and works on the costing very honestly and believes in the fact that one has to give the Indians a quality product at an affordable price. That is, every time it is, men it is mentioned uh, reassuringly, because that is the core belief I'm sure you have uh, started the business with. So Udai, uh, what I want to appreciate you is that you have also simplified. It looks very, very simple because you're very honest, but it's not so simple. There are many other competitors, and we will discuss all those issues as we move forward. 
appearance quality price and hygiene which you communicated which i have seen across a dozen outlets in uh, hyderabad varangal karimnagar nalgonda so on and so forth and i tasted the tea and all places the tea is uniquely similar and that's a magic and we'll come back to that question later but that's not easy you made it uh, look uh, simple uh, thank you very much for this congratulations to you i will now invite my esteemed colleague professor prasad professor prasad uh, is also uh, was also an entrepreneur he worked in the corporate and now he's working with the academics uh, he is the architect of the latest uh, program that we launched it's called online mba program he is an alumnus of uh, iit bombay and uh, i am calcutta and uh, he brings uh, to the table a rich experience of about uh, three decades and uh, very respectfully i invite uh, professor prasad to start the moderation of the q and a session and once again i welcome all the members who have joined from united states early in the morning for them in the west coast and also in the middle and uh, some members who have joined from other parts of the world and largely from uh, various towns and cities in this country on a new year you thank you very much over to professor prasad thank you professor rao tea or chai is, is a very very interesting uh, concept it's a very very common concept and that therein lies the beauty uh, what what is the story you have i mean uh, when you talk about tea what what is the story you have which brings out emotion which powers you which makes you go every day to ensure that more and more people have good tea sir uh, because of lack of availability of the good tea because we indians every indian means most of the indians drink tea means where to drink tea what is the address to have the tea means what is our affordability i create i want to create that platform honestly means what is uh, by affordability by hygiene means don't we deserve a better cup of tea in a hygiene place so i for that with the honest and uh, that is my perception also where i i have to go and tea before starting this with that perception i started this one sir thank you see there were a lot of products in that you know kind of space as you yourself mentioned you know there are a lot of products uh, which need formalization yep how did you zero in on tea uh, because i am a tea lover basically first thing and uh, it means that the tea brings the repeated customers also means if you uh, a person will have more than five times 10 times also there are people and uh, you would day so for so many indians the day won't start without tea means you can have so many other snacks are available in the market or any other products but tea is must necessary it's a fuel for india for fuel for indians actually so when that there is a vacuum for that product itself why will i choose some other product okay so there is there is you know this uh, personal liking that you have for tea and yeah. uh, there are a lot of uh, i think associated unarticulated feelings and emotions which are there a lot of us you know we say okay let's go have a cup of tea ek chai yeah. piye you know whichever the languages you use yeah. you, you know you 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 say that and uh, it 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 you know it kind of signifies a break it yeah. uh, signifies a relaxation which comes in when you do it so uh, i was just trying to understand what are these things which make you go back for another cup of tea or make you ensure that others go back for another cup of tea in terms of a story i mean in terms of something which is there uh, inside you beyond the efficiencies and beyond the quality yeah what is its story what is the kind of feelings that it invokes in you because you love tea i'm just trying yeah. to understand a bit more yeah uh, sir uh, usually uh, for indians actually the, for every occasion it's a chai means uh, when you're working when you uh, when you when you woke up you will have a tea when you are uh, reach the office you will have a break and you will have a tea when your friends gathered you will have a tea and uh, when you are upset you will have a tea when you are driving i mean and uh, most importantly i forgot to tell this this is the drink where tonight you can after this conversation you can drink and drive also so absolutely fine with that i can tell this and uh, for when you are driving in a highway you will have a break you need a tea after your sport you need a tea i uh, mean occasions are unlimited to have a tea actually and relations are also unlimited when your guest came to your house means uh, first thing you will offer a tea 
or uh, somebody comes to your office you will offer a tea means it's it's a part of our life excellent i think you know uh, this you know this occasions is something that that is that is you know your your emotionally out. emotionally it is a part of our life actually tea is we cannot uh, separate it uh, at, all, at, at all i completely agree with you i think you know there have been many occasions after this webinar where you know i have asked my daughter to prepare it's only on that day otherwise i don't ask so she <laughs> prepares it in a certain way and gives it and i am remembered that there is a person and there is tea it's not just the person there is also tea so excellent i think you know uh, it's a it's a it's a it's something that uh, you know uh, there's much more to it than just the product or its yes. price in terms of tea now uh, there have been a couple of other uh, businesses that you have ventured into that professor sudhakar rao was uh, talking about can you let us uh, uh, let us know a little bit about your journey and you know your travel your you know your uh, ventures into this sir what i what i learned is that sir uh, before that um, i started a, a cafe also like that with uh, with uh, what i like is one important uh, my suggestion to all the entrepreneurs means i started uh, uh, serving the fresh fruit juices uh of more than 150 varieties of fresh fruit juices bringing from all over the world and serving the mango throughout the world strawberry throughout the world without any adding any flavors or essences or anything when i after my college then uh, it was a flop means then i came to know that not only good uh, means uh, every good product will click means we have to be uh how many people will like it means your desire means the what you like must not convert into a business you have to serve what people likes and later on uh, with that i learned this lesson means if i like something means that cannot be uh, ventured as a business so it's not right that everybody will like that one then uh, later on i moved to a software like a regular software job then i came back and then i started this one sir in, in terms of uh, motivation those who have influenced you from whom you have learnt lessons can you share your experiences sir uh, lessons that is also an honest uh, reason for my country and my countrymen when i was in abroad i was having a uh, a branded coffee in my below my office there is a branded coffee where i used to have and all my colleagues come down and have it means uh, approximately it is 10 dirhams when i prepare uh, purchase my own milk own coffee powder own sugar and prepare it it cost you 3 to 4 dirhams and they are selling it for 10 dirhams means 100% 120% when i come back to india in uh, gurgaon there are 10 times means uh, thousands of people and there is the same coffee brand shop down says that office also but i never find a person where else in abroad everybody will we every of every one of my colleague will come and have the coffee then i came to know why means what is really inside a cup of that coffee means how what is the value of that coffee inside that cup means it is less than 15 to 20 rupees honestly but here they are selling it for 200 bucks to 300 bucks means where else in developed country if you want to have a quality product you have to pay at least only 100% that means one time more for the ambient sanitizers where else in india you have to pay 2000 times means that shocked me and that is the ignition i got in my mind that i want to start something with basic product with a quality pro- with pro- uh, basic profit with quality product thank you i think you what you are mentioning is that this this huge margin of 2000 times yes sir. is is something that has driven you to find out what is it as an engineer what is it why, that you can yes do yes sir why why it is charged why it is such so overpriced means how to reduce that, that all these things where else in abroad if you want to have a quality drink you have to pay only one time but in india why we have to pay so many times and how many people are affordable to have means at least it is a right to have a quality cup of tea at a reasonable price means we deserves that one means who is serving that there is no means the huge vacuum was there for that one that that uh, the thought gave, makes me to start this one this brand so it was a thought for the country actually honestly means why can't we do that with a basic profit for, why can't we serve a quality product with a basic profit 
is the thought and i quit that job and i started this one and everybody why are you doing this what are you doing this from where you came and why you want to start this tea shop in this town means what i have to tell to my relatives <laughs> my parents was asking me <laughs> <laughs> very very interesting very very interesting very uh, you know uh, even even you know uh, in this decade these questions come i remember these questions which we faced i faced when i was getting into this in yes, sir, 1990s even today even today i think these questions continue yes sir it it is there sir means these days if you want to do means if you are coming to coming back to your hometown means people will start assuming a, a regular normal emotional indian family sir why you came back why you lost your job means why you resigned your job are you gone mad and what is this that blah 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 and everything but uh, honestly i want to deliver something with bottom of my heart and i started this one sir i think what you're saying is extremely important i think you know it's not uh there is a need to uh move away from what is conventionally accepted by others if you want to be in entrepreneurship and you must have some very very basic problem which you are attempting to solve i think you defined it pretty well in terms of uh, you know what you have done uh, i i now shift the question to a completely different you know space yes what do you envisage as the future of tea i mean today we we come to a shop we come to a outlet and drink tea so what do you think is going to be the future of having a cup of tea what do you visualize that to be and how do you see yourself getting there what kind of opportunities do you see what kind of challenges do you see in order to get there sir uh, usually um, everything will be delivered to your house or uh, office also but tea is just not a drink it is a break for indians they will come out they will come out and have a break uh, uh, tea means they will stop by and have a tea they will have it and go to work they will come and have after work so the vacuum of this platform is very very strong sir. means very very high very very strong and uh, the vision of the tea time is to expand it to 25000 shops in the coming 2 3 2 3 years because as of the growth rate is uh, sir it is unbelievable the growth rate is means within the 3 years of started giving the franchises we reached around uh, 2500 2800 in between because sir honestly the numbers are not known sir means today there will be three openings tomorrow one will be dropped down and again 17 openings day after tomorrow and uh, uh, in that uh, two may be dropped down or again uh, suddenly it means i'm i'm dealing with there are so many people who are uneducated and unorganized so the dates are not fixed the dates are fixed on basis of auspicious days actually and thus are open 107 shops and so means uh, it is uh, the growth as you coming to the point again i'm getting emotional with this thing so coming to the point the vacuum is very high the vac- there is a uh, loads and loads of requirement uh, for serving this tea means if you put this tea or cup you can prepare your tea simply in any office any house or anything but why the people are this means it's not part of having uh, a tea it is the break it the deserving break for indians so it it cannot be stopped I means so you have to ask them to take a break fantastic i think you know i am trying to get the emotion out of you sir uh, so you have you have brought it out in terms of a break so i think this break is what you are redefining you are redefining sir. the break whether it is you know uh, getting out what goes into this break more than the tea yes, is there anything else the gathering sir the chit chat it's a place of chit chat sir india need also cafe i mean how many people are affordable to sit in those cafes people normal people common people will stand by have a chit chat it's a cafe for a common man sir i think there's a lot of potential in in trying to redefine that in trying to as you said you know you're looking for a brand strategist or maybe you already have one i think there's a lot more to this break, uh, break honestly sir i'm looking i'm looking for a brand strategist because with uh, the vision i have i came this much but with the experience i i gained in this 
we need to add so many people to become means larger uh, means uh, a giant a monopoly means we need to have so many strategies to be built means let the brand speak means how to build the intangible asset for your business not only tangible we have to build the intangible asset how the intangible asset can be built it is only from a strategy in a proper learning excellent excellent i think you know and uh, if i am doing all these things and learning on my own i will be out of my way to do the business means we need an accountant to look after the accounts we need a strategist to build the strategy and uh, nowadays we need a, a good digital marketing person to do the digital marketing means our uh, challenge is to select the exact people i think you have expressed it well and that's very clear cut a need after this you know this vacuum uh, starts getting filled up and a lot of other people will get attracted because of the vacuum uh, sir, sir. and the, the business is defined around a break and uh, how i will tell the we are monopoly also sir yeah the thing is that um, why tea time will means uh, if you are not taking care of your customer i feel this somebody else will take care of your customer so we have to take care of your customer very well that is uh, means very clear cut point to me and how we are monopoly in this one sir now we are around 2800 franchises assume and the we are the largest consumer of tea consuming tea brand in the world sir as of now and if you the tea you are purchasing in your house is purchased at a quality rate of 120 rupees to 130 rupees and it will be sold at 500 rupees of the supply chain they built and uh, the process they built it will reach 120 to 140 rupees kilo will reach you at 500 because of the distribution ship they designed it the fmcg multinational smc fmcg companies what they designed it and uh, the quality of the product will reach you after 6 months of the processing where else t tan is directly a member and auction from the garden directly and within 21 days the next stop is your t tan we are purchasing a quality product of more than 300 per kilo and selling it for 400 means if any corporate or any individual wants to break this chain means how they can break this chain they have to buy better quality than us and they have to ship less than 21 uh, 21 days uh, how it is possible sir and we are selling at 10 rupees per tea there is no vacuum to sell at 8 rupees it is not possible so means while designing itself i didn't left any vacuum for another player also rather than having a board or just a, uh, the outer appearance of tea time but not the inner engineering of tea time i think you have hit a very very huge uh, spot and when you you raise this issue because it is not clear till now that this 120 to 500 and the size that fmcg operates at and what you are trying to do though it looks like a break at the heart it is hitting at this business and yes, i'm sure they are well aware of it and when the, when you are adapted to a quality product you cannot never ever go down sir. in my in your childhood you might have eat so many things on the street but you cannot eat now when any human adapted to a quality product they cannot go back means how these multinational coming companies in the future is they are not have a luxury to buy 300 product and sell at 400 their system is not designed like that means now we are coming to the retail also retail selling for the household also and uh, where the super stock is will without means cutting all these things apart from the product and the pricing also we have a retail platform of 2800 and maybe in next 3 years it is 25000 where at present we are selling near about 300 3.5 crores of cup and in future we want to sell it for more than 75 to 80 crores of 80 crore cups of tea in a month where the footfall will be more than for ipl so now when the product is available everywhere in india without the super stockers and the distributors and everywhere from the garden to the glass within 21 days with the basic pro, uh, profit margin they have they can take i am going to take so many customers from them but whether if they want to take 
the their customers back to them uh, you have to suggest me you have to suggest them for a platform whether to buy it at 350 and sell it for 375 or otherwise they have to open 25000 retail platforms directly on their own and uh, above all these things uh, they have to people have to trust them by investing their own money uh, to sell their product I think, you know, this is sounding, you know, it didn't sound so much. This is a disruptive innovation. It didn't sound like that. It seemed like a startup, which was growing tremendously, but from what you're explaining to us right now, this is very, very clearly a disruptive innovation and the normal behavior of the big players in a disruptive innovation, they don't look at it. Maybe they do observe it, but they don't look at it the way the disruptive innovator looks at it. And I think this window of time is going to be very, very important uh, for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. With uh, now, I am with uh, people like you and all uh, to take more suggestions uh, to achieve this for the uh, my people of the country. We'll we'll fight, sir. And there's an associated question. You know, it came up in the chat box, but it is connected to this. Yes. And uh, this is, you know, it's also connected that it's pretty. You know, it, it it looks like a very big possibility that somebody in that industry can buy you out. So there Sir, is a question uh, about exit plan. Uh, I'm just exit. asking. I'm just asking to provoke, provoke you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exit plan. I understood, sir. Sir, uh, one week back, the world's, uh, they came in a chartered flight to our office. I cannot name. And uh, I will share you the photo after that one. World's largest uh, holding TST people came and uh, they told me, means within 40 years, what we dreamt of doing, we are not able to do this, and you are doing this, and uh, very proud of you, young man. And uh, you want to associate with us or uh, any other way. And then I told sir, when I means when I knew the vision and when I knew the vacuum I had, means when I started setting up the retail is the very powerful platform for the business sir, actually. It is a very powerful platform of uh, business. The exit plan definitely will monetize at some point of time uh, within a very, very planned way. Means giving a huge returns to all my investors who trusted with me. Uh, definitely there will be a nice exit plan and expansion and uh, where they can monetize on their own stakes. Excellent, excellent. I think, you know, uh, you know, we are, we are there, there is a, a time issue, but they, I am provoked to ask a question which is in this cluster itself. And this is, you know, this is connected to the word formalizing that you have a lot of regard for and you have, you have a lot of passion for. Now, the formalization of business typically uh, does not mean money for the other person. I mean, a lot of people don't formalize their business because they don't see the money. So you, they don't get into the tax bracket. You know, they don't want to pay taxes. They don't want to do the GST. So they try to remain outside that. So they are, they, they operate informally. Now you are trying to formalize. Mm, yes, so, sir. Yeah. So how, what kind of benefits are you seeing for the, for the sector and for those entrepreneurs who want to formalize, what kind of benefits have you seen from their eyes? Sir, uh, you purchased a house, sir. <coughs> Along with the market means if the real estate sector is doing good, the appreciation will be keep on going. It is your wish to sell it. I mean, monetize your uh, increment you got for your house or not. Like that, I will work for all my investors who trusted us to increase their asset value. And it's upon them whether to monetize it or not. But I will keep on uh, creating an asset value for the uh, tangible and intangible asset of t -tanks. Excellent. I think, you know, what I can see is that beyond what the tea companies have done, you have added real brick real break, not just an ad break that you see the break happening in the ad, you know, uh, have a break, have a Kit Kat kind of thing, which is Thank there in the ad, but in reality, you don't experience that. But I think you, what you're talking about is where you actually experience the break. There's a behavioral break in what you're doing. And I think that's where a lot of value is going to come in, in terms of how, how people, you know, you, those who are associating with you, will also be able to see value in what you're doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, you, you will be able to, you, you've talked about a few things. I'm pretty sure that this will happen 
uh, sooner than later. I mean, this is just my hypothesis. So with this, I'll come to uh, the end of this cluster. I hand it to Professor Sudhakar Rao. Sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, Udai, I think this is getting very, very interesting and the night is going to be a long one. Sir, I, sir. Will, I will promise you that it is going to extend for a long time. There are sir. lots of questions, but we are not going to leave you just like that. Uh, sir. Uh, for the benefit of all the participants and also for you, I would like to uh, explain the overview that these questions which we have received at the time of registration from various participants has been uh, filtered and uh, clustered into uh, say about four important clusters. So we just finished the first cluster, it is called overview. We are left with other clusters like the core business of tea time. Then the second, third one is on entrepreneurship and general about entrepreneurship and your advice to other people. And the last one is about the careers that are possible uh, from the things that you do and you envision. So broadly, these are the clusters. Now, I go to the second cluster and I would like to move faster, but I want to explain that uh, India is a tea drink drinking nation and a large number of people drink tea and we don't have to cultivate any habit of drinking tea. It is already there and therefore it's a huge market. For every cup of coffee, Indians drink 17 cups of tea. That's the estimated uh, rate. And not just in India, but across the world, uh, across the world, the tea consumption is more. Yes, it's the second largest drink after water. Sir. After water, this is the second largest drink across the world. And in India it is. Now, that's a vacuum. If people have established more coffee-based cafes than tea-based cafes, that's a vacuum which you have cited. That's the way to sir, go. We are second largest uh, producer of tea. Yes. Even though we are importing. Even though we are importing and we consume about 80% of the tea that we produce. Yes, sir. Uh, so, so we are the largest consumers. And, yeah. and one point I'm asking is about the market size. The published sir. market sizes for the tea retail is 18,000 crores, sir. Which, which is two and a half times compared to the coffee. Now, sir. you have mentioned it as three lakh crores. Now, yes, if, you, if, you, if you look at the overall tea, it is actually the entire value chain has got tea plantation, the people who grow tea and all those things. That is number one. Number two, we have the tea machinery, people who make the products, to create the machinery itself and then manufacturing tea, separating the leaves and then making it to powder, filtering, so on and so forth. There are many things which I don't know. The third one is about... Uh, uh, is, is about making, uh, selling this tea in bulk. Okay. Sure. And then begins your retail. Now, mm. retail is a different world altogether. Based on your consumption, point of consumption, where do you have your tea, then the market is segmented in a great detail. Either the cafes or the stores or the kiosks that you have created is the one. Then people sure. are delivering it through Swiggy and uh, Zomato and various other uh, platforms. It comes sure. to your office or club or home, depending on where you want it to be. Third sure. one is your tea is uh, uh, also served by certain vending machines which your competitors have done or more organized uh, funded players have put their delivery machines and all. You have a very fundamental difference with them. I'll come to that also. So likewise, you have uh, a variety of uh, segments depending on where you consume your tea. So you're talking about the whole tea market or only the retail market, which is 3 lakh crores? No, no, sir. The whole tea market. The whole From tea market. The from the uh, retail to the uh, means so to, to selling tea to your house and the retail which is selling outside yes. the market is uh, approximately estimated as a 3 lakh crores of market means where in that 3 lakh crore market what where are the places we have to occupy the retail tea uh, of selling the process the retail brew tea and uh, to the houses means which we have to sell it to the houses and the vending machines when emission also without tea, uh, it cannot be done. So all this together I'm talking about. Fantastic. So coming back to your journey of tea time and your own business, the first question is, uh, uh, as I mentioned, when I tasted the tea across a dozen outlets in different, different points of time, it tasted uniquely common. How did you arrive at this USP? Of course, apart from, apart from what you've already mentioned in terms of business, the look, the hygiene, cost, and all those things, those are bigger parameters. But quality is fundamental. If your tea is not good, irrespective of other things being okay, I will not come back to you, right? 
but your tea yes. is really good i am a tea lover myself and i am telling you at a personal level i can discern a tea and tell you that this is good and bad in about 5 minutes so yes, so you. so your tea is really good and how did you achieve this usp sir not only uh, with a vision of not only serving the quality product uh, the hygiene product and uh, means even product in all the places means how we have to do means if it de uh, depends upon the chefs it will taste it will vary means i made it as a formula means this many ml of milk this much mg of tea powder and this much mg of sugar with the tea connoisseurs means the tea tasters tea sommeliers tasted that one ensured that one and i as you are there uh, means uh, next time we will introduce a new flavor by ensuring your formula also sir definitely uh, with a uh, lots of uh, experience you had in the tea so with that one i created a formula for that one of uh, of the blend also i created a formula and the preparation also i created a formula means even the if your formula is uh, only limited to the brewing and not limited to the brand blend it won't come again it won't repeat in the same way so i created the blend of my own and the process of making tea also in a uh, in a better formula great so you have actually templated a and the selecting form. the tea leaf also will uh, makes a different in this one sir right. so if you uh, means every time we uh, at last tea is an agriculture sir. yes means for this season it may be good and next season it may not good because of the rain it changes we have an office in uh, kolkata we have an office in guwahati and we have an uh, our, uh, means uh, well uh, 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 experienced tea tasters tea sommeliers to ensure before each and every purchase of our product Please. great great you you have quality uh, standards in your purchase you have yes, template, you have templated your uh, formula for uh, not just blending but also for processing uh, yes, your preparations itself so therefore yes. it is going to be unique well answered thank you very much uday the next question is it is it is very easy to gather from what you mentioned how you differentiate yourself from uh, uh, these players you have to differentiate yourself from organized as well as unorganized players sir sir organized sir, players sir means that they they have quality standards like the way you have mentioned they also have formula they also go by those methods and good practices how in future even now and also in future not just the price which is going to be a differentiator so how are you going to differentiate on other aspects of your product from these organized players sir first of all the organized players how to come into my uh, platform sir they are they not nobody has not it come down Oh, you mean to say they're they're actually not? They have to come market. to the retail. They have to showcase their product first. They have to make them taste, and they have to start the chain. And uh, nobody. Yeah, for example, it. I will take the names here. Uh, it's it's a it's a worldwide broadcast, but still, I will take the names. We have uh, Chai Point and Chaios, which are two names which I can take. Of yes. Of course, sir. their number of outlets for Chai Point is not more than two hundred and fifty at the best count. and uh, for chaios it is about 120 or 140 at this point in time the both are below 200 i knew that yeah. one sir so uh, their corporated audience is means their, their customers is uh, 100 rupees 80 rupees 200 rupees 250 rupees my customers are entirely different sir i am not com they are uh, they are not my competitor and i am not their competitor means uh, let them take the all the elite people and everyone in the cities let them come to a district headquarters maybe for varangal they can come up with one chai point in varangal but the entire district belongs to me <laughs> fantastic i i i think you have answered it the market and the world that you are looking at is the market that uh, that they are actually not looking at so sir, it's sir. it's a it's a huge sir, not market. only for tea sir for anything uh, like you, you take for pizzas you take for ice creams you take for uh, uh, because i am into fms i am telling this one sir any branded showroom uh, for garments or a mobile showroom means it is limited to the only for the street and uh, headquarters sir the remaining uh, yeah, real india is beyond that yes there is a large country beyond uh, headquarters and cities yes sir the underbelly of this country is pretty large and that's where the fortune lies Thank yes you. sir uh uh <clears throat> 
then you you have competed with the, definitely your organized players who are far too few and they are struggling to expand and they have gone to using technology so on and so forth we'll come to that a little later but how do you differentiate yourself from or how do you compete with the road cyclers because they are pretty large they are unorganized how do you yes, compete sir. with them sir i didn't increase the price are you going to increase the price no i didn't increase the price i'm not going to increase the price and i'm serving a more hygiene than them in a even the paper cup what we prepare is uh, done by an uh, uh, the best com company in the country sir means for the all that means who all uh, as you take the chart point uh, starbucks who prepare the cups the same standard procedure and test will be followed for our cup also great so serving from the takeaway cup to the hygiene to the taste means how will they ensure the taste sir means how will they ensure their quality what leaf they are purchasing it is not organized and uh, for doing all these things if i increase the price there may be some segment of people leaving me and going there because of that but i am selling at the same price by organize by formalizing everything inside the cup of tea and selling it for the same price so i didn't think um, uh, there is vacuum for them great i think that's a great challenge also it's a continuing challenge as you innovate yes. and as you stick to outbeating or outsmarting your uh, competition both organized and unorganized you will still stick to the same price is a big challenge and that is going to determine the future and the fortunes for tea time thank you now the next question i wanted to ask you is uh, uh uh in spite of india being a a, a tea drinking nation coffee chains have come but not tea chains even yes, around sir. the world that is the same story uh, yes. we said that it is it is a it is a it's a great opportunity but sir. but but when when more organized people with funding which is actually much bigger than any other person can acquire because funding goes or operates on a different level altogether it depends on your stories the projections and uh, how much of uh, uh, how much of a spear of influence that you have and spear of con control you have on the business based on that your funding is determined and based on funding you'll get additional muscle to expand and probably beat some organized or unorganized players so so what others have not seen all these years or what others have not tried all these years you have uh, tried i am asking a question that is what do you think will make you fail sir i am telling till, till now we have asked you till now we have asked you questions about what makes you succeed and what makes you tick will others are failing but the question now is what do you think or what is your worst fear that may make you fail uh, yes sir that's what i'm coming first of all sir i won't believe uh, uh, that in a business where some day someone will come and buy me out we have to believe in a business fundamentally from the basic it has to bring profits sir if you have 120 stores and you are making loss why are you expanding after uh, the, the, you are increasing the more loss i didn't understand the logic behind that one correct I means when you got the when the funding is stopped you will hit a hard It means you will get hit hard It means to avoid this one fundamentally the business has to be in profit then you no need of uh, funding funding means if i am earning with this 100 rupees i am earning 10 rupees and if you are adding 900 rupees to this instead of 10 rupees i will earn uh, for 1000 rupees it has to be calculated 100 rupees i have to make profit i will make 200 then i am making for uh, investing 900 more instead of making uh, 10 rupees profit with the same effort i am making 20 rupees profit that is the logic behind the funding but it's the logic must not be that i will expand and i will sell it to somebody someone or someday will come and buy me out that is not the, i consider it as a funding sir and uh, fundamentally i want to develop a business which brings profit and most of the tea times with uh, almost 95% of the tea times are enjoying the profit sir and the fray is that uh, as of now i didn't honestly i didn't find uh, one sir yes sir okay no problem that that's absolutely uh, fine as you mentioned rightly 
almost all the players who have come into the cafe business, whether it is coffee or tea, all of them are making losses. Even so, now, yes. even now within India, close to about 160 outlets of Starbucks is not conclusively profitable. There's a dilly dally about the numbers. And so other you I, told the number names of the chai point, chai or everyone, but uh, unfortunately they are making also loss, sir. Yeah. A chai point means uh, whatever a tea brand opened in a metro station of Rajiv Chowk and you are shutting it down. I don't know the most uh, gathered place in India. Correct. Then Correct. fundamentally, we are missing something. Yeah, I think there lies the answer. Fundamentally, yes. there is something wrong. Otherwise, why yes. would anybody close uh, an outlet there? Yes. Okay. So we move to the next question. In the interest of time, I need to move forward. Uh, uh, I will jump. That is, Green tea has gained a lot of appreciation and clamor during the COVID-19. I mean, Sorry. that is, I'm sure in your own outlets also, you would have seen that. Maybe you can explain that a little bit. But the bigger question is, what has been the impact of a pandemic on your venture? Because you started before COVID and you went through these two years of COVID impact. And now we are slowly limping back to normalcy. So what was the impact sir, of pandemic? Sir, uh... Unfortunately, it was a bad situation for the entire world and for the so many families. And uh, the thing is that, sir, we are totally shut down like any other thing in, in the country for one month, uh, two months. After that, May 31st, they, I still remember, and you can open my Insta page, sir, uh, our page, Insta page. May 31st, June 1st is the opening date. May 31st, it was some leisure on the... Uh, rules may 31st there is an opening and uh, it was doubled up for the two years of numbers which is doubled up in a single year means they people started consuming it only in hygiene places and there are lots and lots of uh, lost of jobs and uh, they started this tea time and people started work from home and two, three friends gathered and started tea time. And uh, a person uh, take a loan and gift it to his father to operate a tea time. There are so many small businesses shut down. They changed to tea time. And uh, business-wise, uh, uh, the largest number we made in this is after pandemic only. Sir. We come back like any uh, means. We didn't expect this one. Fantastic. Fantastic. I think that's a very, very interesting story of bounce back. Uh, one, uh, two more qu small questions and then we'll quickly move forward. Uh, see, food becomes a, a, at least a 25% or more share of revenue in various uh, cafes that we see, including Starbucks and the CCD and various other people also. How is your experience? What, what is the share of revenue for the food other than your beverages? And uh, what is the strategy for food if that is going to be working? For now, uh, in, in our expansion plan, Sir, now we are coming up with the, like uh, for the food, we are having a huge vision on carpet for the food for coming up from the cookies, biscuits and the snacks like the South Indian snacks that we are starting that one like Haldi Rams, we are forced to eat all the North Indian snacks like Karapusa, Karabundi and all with all the South Indian and North Indian mix. We are coming up with the same standard uh, packaging and same qualities. We are coming up with the all the collection of uh, regional uh, dishes and we are started gonna start it very soon sir, this year fantastic that's very good news so sir, food, sir. Is, food is also going to generate uh, a revenue yes. additional for you uh, so there's one question in the chat box from one of the participants from us and he's asking you hmm. how do you arrive at the design of your store because he believes that for a common man if the design is too hi-fi and too posh it alienates the common man from entering the store, assuming that the prices would be very, very high. Sir. So what is your thinking of your store design? That is the question. Uh, sir, the store design, which I told you, I designed for uh, the logo is designed for, uh, sir, uh, they, when I went to a shop before the opening of the shop, a person I asked to design a logo for me. Then he told, sir, you waste hours and hours of this thing for logo. And at last you won't, you will tell you don't like it. Then uh, he told, uh, okay, uh, if you, uh, how many hours I spent for your logo, I will charge for those many hours. Okay, 
then i went in and within half an hour uh, i completed the logo uh, with the vision of a common man for and paid 300 bucks for the logo simple things red green means they are adapted to your signals take a break means red means stop green means go stop and have and go with that white is a peaceful color elegant color with the simple means uh, i think so this is the most elegant design for a common man sir which won't scare him absolutely 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 i i work in branding so i completely agree with sir you. and easily one thing sir when you at any level any high level means whatever the news it may not reach but when there is a note ban it reached the fastest reached news in the world maybe this note ban right means your money does not valid from tomorrow like that when you are giving any quality product uh, for a lesser price or a reasonable price means you will get a overall response and uh, means here it's such a good place is serving at this price means that is an advertisement and you will get tremendous response and easily advertised and easily adoptable sir correct correct what about the store design the design of the store inside the interiors mm. the way you keep your messages the mm. the images of your product and the menu and the mm. layout how how did you arrive it uh, sir uh, i have a limited budget what are the good things can be done with that limited budget to attract that and i did that one sir not more than vision more than that at all okay actually it is great i visited all the stores and i spoke to your franchises and i i know a little more about that as well it's and a, a, a initial day sir i am not even affordable to have a pics of my own i downloaded from the internet now the brand is affordable to have a own photography shoot the own product and now we change it to everyone to our own products and now the people are copying our products so it's yes. uh, you you have many me too brands like you know tea house and tea this tea no, they are the oh, they are the franchisers of once they they are my fourth franchisers of tea time yes so <laughs> they use the same colors and similar logo uh, on there, the there is a, how india is that sir in no. one shop menu i missed uh, it there was a spelling mistake in the menu hmm. those they copied that menu and pasted all over everywhere <laughs> near 100 shops is having the spelling mistake now <laughs> you know uh, imitation is the best form of uh, appreciation so sir, when you are a star somebody will copy you sir so yes. how we going to we are copying you in so many aspects <laughs> absolutely absolutely so so thank you very much uh, for that uh, response and uh, you have answered those questions uh, uh, now what we'll do is we will move to other two clusters i request uh, professor prasad to come in and uh, handle entrepreneurship uh, cluster over to you professor prasad i think you know uh, uh, this is a classic case of what we call a disruptive innovation uh, yeah, when you when we spoke about the chai point example it is in a completely different uh, segment and price point and there is no disruptive innovation there and i think this is what makes the huge difference uh, as, as i can understand it and for the first time uh, you know we have an entrepreneur on stage whose current value and what the value will be a few years later i mean for what i can understand it's going to be amazingly different because your vision your your vision is actually your difference because otherwise people could have copied you your so, your vision when you mentioned you know it was pretty clear not not uh, you know 18000 crores you talked about 3 lakh crores that that figure tells what the vision is that means you are you are looking at something else you are not looking at you know just the retail outlet and what it is and that perhaps comes into your entire design the way you are looking at it this is this is one thing that i can see now there is another philosophy here there are actually two philosophies that play in the current uh, market trends one is the amazon type you know where you you spend money for the future in scaling up and doing things you know in discounting uh, which a lot of people are trying to do which you discussed and the other is that the philosophy that you are talking about that fundamentally the business has to be profitable your unit economics must be profitable exactly <laughs> you do your scaling with the unit economy economics then it works for the long term but this is a different philosophy there are people and venture capitalists to invest in both philosophies now the, the 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 question is that 
for the scaling that you are thinking about have you required funding no sir okay excellent i mean this the, is uh, the scaling i required is uh, limited to the time period in which uh, in what time i do, i need that if i want by 25000 chops by 2 years i may require and uh, if i want uh, as it organically i may not require organically sir the i am telling you sir the overheads of the company is less than 10% the overheads of the company is less than 10% means uh, we are uh, a, uh, probably a cash rich company in this scenario also and uh, no need of funding means the timeline period if i want to jump and if i want to expand and occupy immediately maybe i need with all the means uh, i want to set up a retail means i want to set up a factory for my retail tea powder i want to say was set up my own factory for my uh, biscuit manufacturing or if i want to set up my own factory for um, snacks immediately also sir uh, we are now tea time is affordable to do on their own without funding also and the sir for all these things when it when it wants to be in profit way we have to have a proper team for that one sir acquiring the team is also as much uh, means the uh, it 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 brings the strength means the strength it it takes also time so to do all these things uh, actually not not required of funding sir the vision which is uh, the funding or anything i think there is something very very truly distinct in uh, what you are explaining and uh, i am pretty amazed that somebody you know i mean <clears throat> though this is an open session that everyone is hearing uh, uh you you know the likelihood of somebody copying you who's got vision who's got the feeling that you have there can be there can be a lot of people but still it is you know it is amazing that it has not happened and so, i think the other thing is that that's what sir i told you no sir they can copy the ex- uh, external structure of tetam not the inner engineering and depth of tetam how can an individual can copy now from the processing means uh, take the tea leaves from their processing tasting how can he afford sir an individual how can he afford to make cups from the top uh, cup maker in the country with a limited co- uh, limited quantity of 25 lakhs when will you consume that you have to purchase in tons to get at that price means to beat our price you have to purchase near about 40 tons of there will be four blends uh, four leaves mixing in our blend four leaves 140 one will get 40 one will get 20 one will get 30 and how will an individual will purchase that one and if a corporate is purchasing they have to consume within the uh, limited time otherwise they cannot beat in freshness i think i think you know you have uh, you are uh, you are defending your uh, concept and your vision uh, pretty well and uh, sir, not the... depending sir openly i am telling you the possibilities I means what's happening means it can be breakable sir i am telling you no sir it can be breakable they have to have a huge funding and create 2000 or 3000 platforms of retail selling and uh, purchasing like my same quality with uh, no operational charges and uh, selling it for 8 rupees with the same quality when they got all these things it can be done i think you know we have used the word defending in a very positive sense the, the, the people who can do this are actually the ones who are on the other end of the disruptive innovation and they will not they are not looking at this the way they should be looking at it and this classical how disruptive innovation is is explained and by the time they will look at it it will be a bit too late sir and sir. perhaps you know your numbers your will, franchise, our numbers will be gone far sir and your franchises will benefit far more out of the deal assuming that you are a very good negotiator Sir, 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 definitely. Thank you. Um, this, this, you know, this uh, issue about scalability. I mean, some yes. of these challenges will come there. You are, you have rightly pointed it out in terms of the time frame, etc., that you have, and hmm. perhaps this is uh, one place. You know, what, what do you, what, what is, what is your vision for scalability in terms of, you know, sir, all these uh, issues? Yes, sir. I am telling you, sir. Now, uh, the challenge what we have is that, sir, we are getting a call from. uh nanitol we are getting a call from uh, even assam we are getting a call from uh, dehradun we are getting a call from uh, kinor in himachal pradesh we are getting a call from kashmir means uh, if i am giving the shops without the supply chain there it will brings a bad name sir and the investor will suffer 
which I don't want to do that one. Now the scalability is that now we opened an of office in Lucknow in Varanasi and immediately after opening the offices and uh, ensuring the service within a month, we closed near about 70 to 80 outlets. And now we are opening, opening an office in Delhi and wherever we are ensure that the supply chain we can do and we have a uh, uh, stock point there and without any interrupt within 24 hours the stock can reach then only we are giving a franchisee sir. now it is on our uh, this thing that how many offices we going to open by this year uh, by this coming year we we never pushed the brands till now people who came to us we served them and we rejected for this 2800 shops we might have rejected near about 7 to 8000 shops that we won't give that is the where the vacuum created for normal other brands by changing their names also because we uh, we cannot uh, means uh, we rejected the shops of various reasons maybe it is nearby or it is it may be not suitable uh, location means where our investor will lose money with all this emotional aspect also sir it is not only a brand with uh, making money it, it is a brand with emotion means we are we have to discount for a uh, few women people few women entrepreneurs few few pure poor people and uh, when somebody lost their shop in a road winding how do we have to rebuild the shop when somebody lost in flood in kerala and maharashtra how we did that uh, without charging anything we uh, re, uh, means restructured their shop and we supplied stocks like all these things it's a brand with emotions sir means a corp uh, i don't know whether i'm called corporate or not but uh, a, a, a brand with emotion means understands the <coughs> peoples means because they are uh, middle class lower middle class poor people are my investors means they have emotions treat them well with respect and emotion and uh, blessings also means that gives me blessings also with these emotions so the, now we are uh, definitely looking forward to open our offices and uh, make sure our investor must not suffer. And uh, where there is a supply chain, we will give the franchisee. Now we are expanding in more places uh, so that our, there is a supply chain and we can open more. I think your story, you know, I was trying hard to understand that in the beginning, but I think by the time we have reached this point, the, the emotion behind the chai is becoming more and more evident. In terms sure, of sir. what values you carry as well as, you know, what are you looking out for, for your partners, for your partners, not from your partners, for your partners. I think there is more coming out. Now, let me get into a, a financial dimension. It's one of the questions. What does it take to set up a, one of one of the outlets? Sir, it is uh, uh, 4.25 lakhs. Okay. And how does this break up? Sir, the breakup is uh, 2.25 lakhs for the setup and uh, 50,000 for the franchisee fee and uh, the local master franchisee fee will be the remaining who is taking that, uh, uh, making sure that supply chain and he's having a go down and all, he will be charging the uh, fee and uh, the marketing will be 25, 25,000 approximately. Not like that, sir. It depends upon, sir, we don't take, uh, that's what, sir, it's emotion when you ask calculation. Suddenly, I also got stuck. I, sometimes I may take very less from the few people and uh, uh, not hire any, not even one shop higher, even though there is a, sir, there, I will tell you one story, sir. And there is a, uh, people from uh, franchisee, people, franchisee India and some other, there are so many people who will give us franchisee. They came to us. Sir, they came to us means they came to me means not once twice with their national heads cluster heads this head does that sir you this became a huge hit you make it as 10 lakh rupees sir and you give us two lakh rupees eight lakh rupees will be yours and we make sure we will sell these many franchises sir no 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 and last get out is my answer i didn't increase my franchise if you also means the investor have to make profits sir. the people who trusted on you how to get back their money if i sell 10 lakhs and uh, sir it won't it won't create a brand it won't create a brand it makes a profitable company for reasonable time that's it there won't be intangible asset 
I think for long I have been trying to get a story out of you, and I, I finally there is a story here, and I think it speaks far more. There is a lot of flesh and blood in this, in what you have sure. narrated just now, and uh, uh, in in terms of you know, I think this is also the cornerstone because you know many times when we speak to entrepreneurs and you know when investors are coming in, investors try to uh, you know uh, uh, try to get the best, and sure. a lot of entrepreneurs you know are raw and they don't understand this. and sure. i think what you narrated just now is is a very good example of how you stood your ground and i think this is the skill which will which will is going to get you the maximum value for all your partners as you as you as as you go along thank you sir uh, the next question is about you know what do you suggest to modern young uh, entrepreneurs you have, you have you have seen a lot of areas where you say you can formalize so what what is your suggestion to the segment of entrepreneurs you looked at entrepreneurship very very differently i mean it's not like you know a conventional startup so what is your suggestion to potential entrepreneurs the potential entrepreneurs first of all fundamentally unit twice you have to make a profitable unit and look see if uh, if he is thinking that uh, don't think in a, just in numbers today this brand is selling 1 lakh t-shirts if i am coming at least i will take 20 20000 t-shirts then i will be in profit at least if i take 20% also i will be in profit so i am good to do this business no never what are the effort he is putting to sell 100 and what are the effort you are putting to uh, you have to put that 100 plus 20 to get the 20 from him existing customer 120 you have to put it fundamentally means before doing the Uh, starting up a business learn very well in not only just a business model it's still now i don't know how to give a presentation also sir honestly and uh, by numbers by education and after that uh, business model you have to learn a lot first of all whom you are serving what you are serving is there vacuum for your product if there is a vacuum how that vacuum got created by price by quality by our geographical location you have to take all these scenarios and after that uh, by reducing your real estate rentals or by maintenance in what aspect a customer will buy any of your product if it is better than other at same price or lesser price a better product so how you will deliver that and how it will brings your profit uh, how it will take of all your overheads and you will come into a profit means from the basic thing you have to design it and uh, then obviously you will end up in uh, making money sir how did you learn all this uh sir experience one by one one by one one by one experience sir i didn't do my mba so uh, by uh, i i wish sir now i'm joining online <laughs> please please we, join ikfi online mba definitely sir definitely because they at certain uh, stage you need some business terms some presentations uh means sir example if a digital market in company is coming to your office sir we will do the digital marketing for you uh I, the budget is this much and we will do instagram post we will do facebook promotions we will do youtube promotions and uh, we will do the linkedin we will do this and we will do that one then i came to know who are all coming doing the same thing telling the same thing how they are different then i came to know what digital market will do means posting in instagram means what content you post at least we must have that knowledge to uh, qualify and select the person whom we require means how it is related okay instagram post i will also do that what what uh, how will you do that means you must have that basic knowledge in each and every subject of your business first of all then uh, okay uh, then uh, videos i will post okay what kind of video how it is related to my subject which are the influencers you going to hire how much they cost that influencer cost 20 lakhs oh i don't need them you have to take the decision marketing is like uh, ocean sir whatever you throw it will go away you have to uh, limitedly with knowledge and how it will carpet your audience with all these aspects if you want to know by digitally and if an accountant is showing something you have to understand that one and uh, 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 if a purchaser is taking means you recalculate 
means uh, the reverse engineering all right this glass is making this much and uh, the plywood is costing this much and why he is charging that much means the basic calculations are the this nylon uh, is getting this much means all this basic raw material products to prepare that products okay you must know he is having 20% of margin okay that's okay for his work means to know all these things you have to get educated and we have to learn deep and from the product you are using in your business everything must be known to you sir. must we, you must know that first uh, each and everything related to your business also then you have to get into the business sir. excellent 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 i want to interrupt here uh, but sir. this is a very important point i know professor prasad is going to say something but i am interrupting sir see uh, two points one is uh, you should definitely join our uh, very important uh, recently architected the uh, ifi online uh, mba program which which is doing extremely well and a uh, lot of working professionals have taken to it and they're doing it yes sir. by no means i'm saying that uh, people who are mbas can only become entrepreneurs no that's not true but that's an entrepreneur not. but but if an entrepreneur is an mba and has greater knowledge and passion and the human face the edge and the advantage it will help you a great deal help you, you. You can multiply the kind of accomplishments that you are making uh, at exactly. a greater pace, at a greater level. And uh, our program, especially, is a highly practical kind of program. It is not going to be doused in just theory. It will give you a lot of discipline. It will give you decision-making prowess, and yes. it will only aid you in what you are. If we are teaching a CEO, if we are teaching a managing <coughs> director. It, it it is just designed for that individual and to handle the business of that scale we are on a daily basis talking to some youngsters who are going to be the future unicorns and you are one of them today we Thank are you. having good fortune of talking to you you are a potential unicorn uh, and we are saying this first in this country with tea time that you are the unicorn next uh so coming back to the point i was making is that you should definitely join the ifi online mba program beyond I that uh, i will i will come back in the last uh, last few minutes and i'll hand sir. it over now to professor prasad if he has any points and they'll come back okay i think i want to connect here uh, you see uh, uh, we have uh, tried to you know we have a, a a potential entrepreneur benefit for the program the program that we have designed and what we what we actually try to do baseline is how do you convert your experience into mba frameworks this this is what we try to do when we talk to entrepreneurs because entrepreneurs or potential entrepreneurs they are obsessed with their passion and their idea now the concepts are fine concepts are fine but how do you put the prism of the concept in in the middle and how are you exactly. able to translate that experience that is very important sir. absolutely uh, example absolutely. our uh, uh, Mahindra sir is there, no sir. Mahindra, owner of Mahindra sir. When he was uh, born, there is no Twitter, but he is the star in Twitter. Means he updated himself. Yes. To use the technology, to use the terms, sir. Means uh, he is upgrading. Means everybody need to upgrade at that stage, sir. It's that's why the upgradation is required for every human, sir. That's why still Steven Sp uh, Spielberg's movies most awaited movies in the world because he is upgrading. which uh, 70 years old uh, director movie we indians are waiting because if you upgrade even though if you are 70 or 80 people will wait for you a at any stage of your life we have to keep on upgrading sir upgrading the knowledge upgrading to the trends means we have to learn that's why each and every company even though uh, the why they take freshers is that they must not miss the uh, the freshness in the minds that's why the company will take freshers uh, even though there are few 2 3 years experience old also they must not miss something this generated is thinking something this generated uh, gonna create like that we have to keep on upgrading the company is upgrading themselves by appointing the freshers in the company like that our education also be absolutely uh, upgrade uh, to meet that i think very recently starting from our orientation program we have brought in the self the concept of the self that Sir. is per actually customization so we allow students to present about themselves and then we toss in conceptual frameworks and ask them to respond to those conceptual framework purely from their experience and this starts right from the orientation program and i am amazed at the feedback that i get every week from 
how students are presenting. In fact, uh, Professor Sudhakar Rao, I was told that there is uh, one person who runs an incubator and he has a lot of experience with respect to six businesses which are there in his incubator. And that presentation actually adds a lot of value to the faculty members and all the other peers. So it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, how you can convert your experience into a degree, but it, more than a degree, it is, I think it adds value to, in terms of how you see concepts and how you're able to marry your experience uh, to concepts. Excellent. Excellent. Sir, your, uh, the content of the course is really amazing. This content of the course you created is really amazing, but one, then one point is missing, sir. I am desperate person to join such courses and I didn't know I knew about it. So uh, see the <laughs> it must be your course must be known to so many people. Uh, yes, sir. I think the so, fun is in translating your experience. The fun is in how you use your own language and through that you know the program learns, your peers learn, you will also yeah, learn. Very, very, very unique, very nice one, sir. Very unique. And uh, congratulations, and definitely love to be a part of it, sir. Yes, uh, credit goes to Professor Prasad uh, for uh, designing and architecting that particular course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very okay. nice, sir. Congratulations, sir. Actually, that is also the reason why I am trying to get more stories out of you, even in this forum, because I'm, I'm sure it will benefit a lot of the audience to inspire the audience. And, you know, and the inspiration is actually the cornerstone of you know not just the business even when you talked about it actually inspiration you know, when you talk about your what you're talking about tea there's a lot of inspiration in the tea yes and that is the taking the form of a break and it's inspiration which is lacking in the common man's life i mean it is so mundane it is so difficult to live life for the common man that he needs inspiration and anything any product which provides that which is affordable to him and packages that inspiration whether it is education or whether it is tea i think you know there's a lot of value addition in that Thank you very much. I think, uh, you know, I end the cluster here and I hand it back to Professor Sudhakar Rao. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, since uh, we are already hitting 9.15 p.m. and the new year is waiting for us, what sure. I will do is uh, I will summarize it and I'll, ha I'll ask only one or two questions here and there. These are very small questions. One of the uh, promising entrepreneur who is starting tea business in uh, Telangana is asking you this question, Uday. The question is, you're doing so many, he writes also, brother, you're doing great stuff. Who is inspiring you to do all these things? That is the question. Sir, uh, vision, commitment, patriotism, it's a bundle of so many things. Sir. Joy, sir, everybody will have the symbol. The people around you is earning. The people who trusted you is you earning and creating the livelihood that happiness is unlimited sir, and i enjoy that great great i think amazing amazing and the more we listen to you the more you are presenting those uh, facts and those strategies which are actually inimitable because they are very strongly embedded with your way of thinking with your vision and strategy and whatever is inimitable will become your uh, competitive strategy and therefore you will win. I think management gurus, several books have taught for hundreds of years this particular fact. But today we are conversing across the same single screen about somebody who is living these in real life and executing business and showing success and unit economics becoming viable and making it profitable for that single franchisee who you call is your investor. I think 2,500 direct investors and several thousands of indirect uh, investors who invest their emotion, who invest their value and life in the business that you do. So your business has acquired a status called business with human face. And that is an embodiment of a highest value that an entrepreneur can have. We wish you extremely uh, uh, roaring success uh, on this aspect. And we want you to uh, make it happen as soon as possible uh, when we are all around and when we when we still talk about tea time on a daily basis. So thank you very much for that and thank you very much for this time. So in summary, there are about two, three points I would like to capture and then we will close. In, in a market in India where the tree drinking is a very good thing, you have identified gaps which others have not and you have entered with price re-engineering and offer your product. This is, in other words, disruptive thinking, where a conventional product 
being offered in a very unconventional manner, but it is appealing to the basic human values, patriotism, synergies, and consistency. This is not business for the sake of commerce. This is business for the sake of emotional well-being and also economic well-being of all the participants. Livelihood, on the, happiness. <laughs> on the happiness, yes. And everyone will feel happy because you have understood the way the role of tea uh, is seen in this country compared to many others who have not understood it. For example, when you said that tea is a greater tool for giving you that break, which is much needed, either a break from your work, not just in office, a break from your work, even at home, a break yes. in general is uh, to understand the requirement of a human being and then positioning your product over there to satisfy that particular need and re-engineering all other possible things that are in your hands to do it. In the process, you have come to build a very strong monolith of supply chain because at your scale, others will not be able to compete. And those who can compete are actually not re-engineering their costs. I think some people will take so many years to reach your position and some people have ignored these facts and gone forward and are making losses. You're exactly in between and therefore, therefore it is an unconventional way of doing business with a very, very conventional product, very strong need-based product where you are bringing in the elements of strategy, brand consistency, quality, and templating the formula as well as the process formula, not just the product. I think these are very important points. That's the first point I wanted to mention. Second important block I want to talk about from your uh, overall conversation, which is so interesting, is that you went abroad, you have seen the formats of business, and you have come back for the love of the country, and you said Indians have to produce uh, products which are affordable. Every single Indian deserves this kind of product. The deserves is a word which is very, very powerful in your talk. So many businesses, many startups, many entrepreneurs abroad, especially the US and Europe, are supported by very strong institutions. Very strong institutions like, say, Stanford supports uh, in its campus and outside its campus many entrepreneurs, and therefore they rely a great deal. Uh, even, even running businesses would have association with the institutions like that. In India also, we should do. Over the last 35 years, what ICFI has done is... Uh, can establish... I disturb uh, uh, you for a minute, sir? No, sorry, with sorry. this one, I, will, I got this one, sir. Sir, we already... Sir, example, pizza means Italy. Uh, massage means Thailand. Uh, yoga means India. We missed it. Yes. We missed it. Means for that, a design strategy. They must have built their strategy. Why blueberry means New Zealand? So even though the papaya is the most, uh, means with more health benefits, uh, uh, blueberry is priced high. They're getting the more value. Means we must, means any brand, uh, Apple means mobile means America. Automobiles means uh, in, uh, Germany. What it is, uh, Germany. Uh, styling means uh, France and Italy. What we have, sir? Tea. We are almost missing the yoga. Almost miss the yoga means we, if we might have designed very well with the strategy, means wherever we go, the, yoga, the Indian yoga teacher means they must have felt with pride and uh, luxury of uh, yoga teacher to be Indian means they feel that luxury and the, how much employment might have created globally for that simple strategy if we design properly. At least we must not miss the teaser. We must, we, we would have missed the bus in the case of yoga and other products, but definitely we are not going to miss the bus for tea with yes. entrepreneurs like you. Uh, actually taking center stage. Globally, we have to own the tea is belongs to India. Yes, yes. Uh, we have to make it belong to India. Yes, sir. We have to own the category and the product and the culture of yes, India. Sir. Yes, and sir. That, that's what like, you're saying, that it, it, yes. should be, it should be synonymous with India. Yes, sir. Great. So, so I was mentioning, and I will conclude, that... ICFI, over the last 35 years, we have built quality institutions and we started small like the way you started. Nobody starts big. 
and nobody will have entire vision on day one. We have evolving strategies. Our founder always mentioned in our strategy meeting subsequently, strategy is a word which you can use after several years, but you will practice it right from day one, but you will not tell the other one because other persons will not believe in your strategy unless it, it bears a fruit. Therefore, strategies are evolving and entrepreneur's mind is a, is a boiling pot of all these strategies. It will work with A, it will not work with B, it will work with C and you will dovetail and navigate and you will formalize, streamline and hundred things happen. And that's the beauty of the learning of an entrepreneur when he or she is building up businesses like the way you have built businesses and the templates that you have actually today uh, talked to the audience, which is not just in India, but US. So ICFI would like to, as you have mentioned, you need, you need to put in place several ideas. For example, we have world's best case research organization. We, 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 are, we are only second or third in the world after Harvard and NCR, we write the best management cases in the world. And we win awards roughly around a dozen awards, international awards every single year. And our case authors are the best in the world for the last six years. Top best selling case authors are from ICFI. And, and what I'm trying to say and arrive at is that we will write cases on your story that will propagate the brand in the way it has to propagate. We will, we will do all that is not done because several things you are doing and, and we will definitely approach you and write cases and that will give you uh, that, that will give the brand the much needed intellectual push as well. The intangibles will have to be built at the highest level and then it will percolate down. The economics will be built at the lowest level and then it will go up and aspirations also will go up. So that template will have to follow. Strategies, we can work together. We can work with people. Right kind of people is extremely important. And today at any point in time, we have a lack of student across ICFI studying with us. So we have a large number of people. We are present in about 11 locations in universities, in business schools, in nine locations. So total, we are in 16 states and 20 campuses and a large number of uh, talented uh, workforce that we have. I think we should talk. We will definitely meet beyond this <laughs> conversation. And, yes, uh, and you also should keep talking to the youngsters of this country in multiple locations. That is, that is a strategy, strategy in itself to become a thought leader. A leader who is so good in business will also uh, have to appear as a thought leader and there are ways and means in which it can be done. Not much on that ground has been done. You focused on product, you focused on the process, you focused on unit economics, you make it, you made it profitable. But the story has to be well told. That is doing the good work is the first point and telling the world about your good work is the second point. And the second point, time has come for you to tell the world. And also I'm telling the world that we are in conversation with a potential unicorn on this leadership conversation, which is the 37th conversation on our uh, platform. So thank you very much, uh, Uday. Uh, I take the liberty of calling you by first name, not just, because, not just because you are younger to me and most of us, it is because we have gained a lot of familiarity and uh, we have understood you in greater detail we hold you very close to us. You are very dear to us. And that's why I'm calling you by first name. You also feel free to call me by first name. Professor mm -hmm. Prasad, I'm sure, will agree with what I'm saying. Uh, but on behalf of ICFI, we thank you for this uh, time well spent with us and with our audience. We will continue to have many more interactions. And uh, I would like to uh, also come and meet you. And also I will take you to our campus and have a greater discussion. We have management development programs, executive development programs, executive education, online programs, several stuff that we have. And we have spent some time in this country to understand what it is. Professor Prasad himself uh, headed a huge chain of business schools in this country, as large as 180 business schools in small towns in the places that one has not heard of. So uh, he has uh, a lot of stories to talk about. Yes, we will meet again and uh, till then, Till then, I want to thank you and your team for cooperating with us. And one more takeaway that I, I just got is that the largest number of people who joined for this webinar stayed for the longest time. This has happened very, very rarely. It's not about absolute numbers. It's about the percentage of the people who glued in, who just joined. They continued till the end of the discussion. Most of the part, most part of the discussion, they stayed. So it says something about the rawness, originality, 
honesty, transparency that you bring with yourself. Your personality itself is a great inspiration. And I wish you all the best and God bless you for your future accomplishments, Uday. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we come to an end of this 37th webinar, uh, which is a leadership conversation. We will meet you again without any break on 7th of January with yet another distinguished leader who has made a big name and put India on the world map. That is Mr. Rajiv Chilaka, who is the creator of uh, Chota Beam. He also hails from Hyderabad, and we will be in an interesting conversation with Mr. Rajiv Chilaka at 7.30 p.m. on 7th of Jan. Till then, all of you, please take care. On this, on this uh, last day of the first year of the second decade of the third millennium, I would like to take this opportunity to wish all of you a very happy new year 2022. May you have good health, uh, peace of mind, happiness and prosperity in the year to come and also in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us.